Okay, Battle of Earth Easy on time again, but you play an ultimate for this bomb. Okay. Well, first off, we have Love Toboggan, written by Danny Vetri. By two, I'm going to go in a row, I think, in a row. Um, go so look up a code. You know, Milo and Gag, Gara, and my dad are off, you know, skiing. And it's kind of getting that back opportunity to, to, to bake a go on a date with Dio from the car shop. You know, go, so, you know. So she doesn't have to deal with her thing long. So basically the A plot hack her go on a date and the B plot hack them skiing and stuff like that. So we're not going to count that description of women. You know, we call those rake one plot the typical one cloth stuff and the other is a more substantial storyline. And um and it's an order case where you do a little more I mean, at least they caught love to Logan to apply both plots instead of calling it like to Logan. <laughs> you know? Cause it felt called Bit more of the pogging part, but to be fair, with a date plot, it's not an awful lot you can do. And in terms of a story, you know, big going on a date and that, and nothing crazy. It, it, I like it, but nothing crazy interesting until my little show goes giving. Okay, um, I, yeah, go go to the simple to pot while my little get the more interesting part. You know, make a very lean. I don't know. Could, I don't know if anyone really can turn it over of them being a tough story about involving, yeah, like, I don't know. It's been a quick work comparison, I feel like at certain point they gave able to tell some story about involving the, 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 the Murphy Law formula element. Couldn't they talk really that bad? I believe they done the more toned down. And this one, they, you know, combine them well and have a they and a scaff flying this way, so it's, Still enjoyable cat flying, but tell a story about volume of the element like at all. There's some words from tone down, or there's some more unique with it, or a story that's just about going out, like in the cake, like something like that. Um, yeah, I think, um, I don't know, every episode has the whole thing, which I got kind of a formula, but yeah, again, I'll do a post about. For sure, like on the vlog, like in November, it's not discuss with then. But in terms of this one episode, it worked pretty well. But my, the camera, and the, I don't know who fucking Neil from the comments from, but yeah, they got, they got good comments from. They're both very awkward, but cute because we are both awkward. The camera can be worried about him. They found out he's just worried about her, you know. And they, yeah, and she doesn't call him Neil from the comments from, and we find out he calls her Kara from the comments from. Go ahead. Yeah, could find awkward stuff video there. Again, the camera gets more development and screen time, which is good. She didn't appear like at all the queen until a world without Milo, and now she gets like a spotlight. So that's cool. No matter stuff is relatively typical, but it can find fat pink, you know, Murphy Glass action go. My favorite part um but when, uh, I'll get to the other one in a minute, but my, my favorite part is like one point. Like, okay, what point we didn't cut to a guy who basically just won the break with no five free, and he goes on a tangent about how his dad and and then effectively grieved with, yeah, you know, no five one and two and died building it and doing you doing it, and then and how he made an attempt to do the one his wife left him. And he goes on and it kind of had uncle hilarious to in the middle of the episode, just get the cover story. It, uh, it, 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 it's funny on content, it kind of quirky cabin, but the payoff is what makes it funny. <laughs> that, that, it's the payoff. It's just like in the middle of. I just I've always liked that. It's like when you're watching like movie coming and you get the sense of other story going on in the background, and the comedy is going to do it. But, but I'm not. Uh, well, and the other big thing. Okay, so I did mention this before I might have is that Dan Palmeyer had confirmed that at one point in the show there will basically be a parody of Phoenix Verb song sung by you know, essentially B I think Verb he did but called the Weird Al version of a song and now he gets to do it with Weird Al and I wondered will that be in King of One before the King of Nine, going to King of Two, and will it be really obvious to the point where they have changed it, or will it just kind of happen? The answer is the latter, because that happened in the cup of code. At one point, they do both of romance, but with a toboggan. And it's not done in a way where they make it obvious, because they don't lampshade it. 
the wild cat thing about it. So if you haven't seen that particular episode or don't remember it or don't remember that song, it's not the fact that I'm seeing it a little weird, but the song itself is gonna make you confused. And they don't land it, so which I feel like I like. I predict that they made it happen. It kind of random, and I'm far the biking time. I feel like it's better than if they made a big show out of it or a parody, get you, get you, get you, or something like that. So uh, that boat romance song was sung by the guy who did the low boat theme. So that's very fitting with me. But now again, we have our own version of them. Like this is always the case. So yeah, I love Tobogan. Uh, yeah, it's a cute episode. We got go off on action, but also get some cute romance stuff, and we get the best. Anime character backstory of all time, <laughs> and of course, um, toboggan of romance, to the or get the toboggan of love, toboggan. I remember when the Capcom was like when they broke out the title, it was like spelled wrong, and people wondered if that was like a joke or or, or what. No, it was just a spelling thing in the episode, it's not right. So, go back to toboggan, not an awful lot. Okay, I probably left the cave once for that character and the song. So, no, I'll see you in a bit for the next one, which I hear quite interesting. Okay, now for the Island of Lost Dakota. Oh boy, Joshua Puet. Oh boy, for one, I have a spoiler warning because well, they didn't mention the true premise of a cup of code and. It's something, so if you don't want to be spoiled on, like, that, and even though it's, like, the opening of a cup of code, yeah, turn away, if you don't, or if you, if you do want to know a bank and bank and premise, yeah, yeah, I'll buy you, you know, the premise, so, but, um, if you, you know, go, you might want to go, if you don't want to know how the episode even, like, begin, begun, you know, from the title, there's going to be an island full of Dakota. They need to cut. Yeah, but the um, excuse me. Um, the um, <laughs> the way it gets to that. Oh boy, go if you don't even put on that. Nothing crazy could get out of the episode. Go. It just going a very very cut up and different for knowing how to play on yada yada. Okay, but first of all, there's my own stuff. I don't even remember what they were doing. <laughs> They're just doing, trying to be. Oh. Well, let's talk about the mild stuff first. Uh, basically, they just kind of, I don't care about the three of but at the same time, I do remember very good McClung, like, okay, um, and they're doing it because of a hammer horror from, which will match the back of vacation, and they do, but basically, my bill will point and go, wait, me, you, you call it hammer horror? Yeah, come on, story, how long? 11 minutes. <laughs> um, small thing for a reference, this one, um, Aglet. Um, and they mentioned an aglet, so <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, oh, and, uh, two, we have a thing for guest on a few points, this one. And the last one, Neil looked at Baoji, using his normal voice, that's why you couldn't tell. And Irving appearing in the couple code, <laughs> chat with Brad as the captain. First of all, he kind of like, wait a minute, I'm like, yeah, yeah. he playing with captain that, um, Dakota, you can take it to the island. Um, <laughs> so, that's cool, and they both use it in a funny way, um. So that was cool. I did not expect either of them. Um, they didn't. I guess they didn't feel like. Wait a minute. There's another name I saw in the credit, actually. Let me just go back. Um. Yeah. Well, the additional voice in the Gigabella Bomb. Go. So, get you in here somewhere. Um. Um. Hey, that old lady in that one scene. Um, so, possibly, that's the only place I can think of, and also, um, the uh, Scott the Ungunner making an appearance, can I believe the first one? So, he been making a few cameo appearances, and spread route. In fact, a bit in episode, I can't remember which one it was, that, this is not mind, actually, but it maybe they make a reference to it, I don't think of. Anyway, Code of stuff is fun, but it's... Go in the background. You think I worry it might take over, but it's go in the background that I don't even remember what they're really doing. But they're a good gag with it. They get a few gags in there, like anyway. And for the Dakota plot, okay. Well, stop for the look at that. <laughs> oh boy. So it turned out that that Kevin is dying a lot. He dying a lot, and Dakota life forced to go back in time and save him. The problem with the fact that one time came up down after Dakota, both for one from that incident that prevented, and the one that prevented the incident. And to make sure 
nothing crazy there happened, you know, my to him try. Okay, oh, a time travel on this thing brain. But, in addition to that, is for each to call each time to travel to Blink Island for the code and go and make sure the characters don't get find out about them and all that. That's the setup. <laughs> oh my god, where do I begin? But yes, well, the premise of this episode of the family show is that Cameron is dying a lot, and they talk about how we even see all the way, he doesn't grizzly, but we see a bunch of way he died, it's like Kenny. Like in the start of the episode, it seems the thing comes and crushing him. And then there's a montage of him like falling in lava, or dying, you know, from or something like that, it's, yeah. To color the Cavendish, I'm sorry, dying a lot. She is Kenny. I would pay to color the one who'd be acting at prone and die a lot. They'd be in the relationship. But yeah, that is the premise of the episode. Whoa. Um, yeah. And there's a lot of you know, implication stuff, and I could do a whole video just on the implication of the episode because, I mean, the island thing, um, why? Why do you need to? Why can't you just go? Like, if P will take me with the code and that can have guy to go time machine. If then, but, but if he left, then how? But you go back to before the code had to leave. But why not go back to? Oh, uh, I uh, never, never mind. Cause if it's before they left and him by will still be there, but he can't go back to that one. Can he? Yeah, that god, yeah. Because I need to kill that Dakota. <laughs> I mean, if death is not, not an issue. <laughs> but I get that this way makes them kind of dumb. And we do get to see a fun variety of Dakotas. Cannibal Dakota is my favorite. <laughs> Again, the kind of from, from Dark and Tumor, you're gonna see like in a show for kids. And they brush it off with like. Finnick Furbeck, Night King it got some dark humor in there, and I think it always kind of works, because it goes, just like, wait, what? But the episode is the parade for it, and it kind of a meaning. <laughs> you know, come on, we're gonna jump, I do a long way, like, with the captain, where, you know, he dressed like, you know, like, 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 and, and he's like, oh, you pet me, be all rugged, and, you know, her. And, and that's funny. No. <laughs> um, but, but, yeah, um, I can't get an awful lot because you know, most of most of the gap good getting to the island well. But there uh, another funny part of when the chant they do when they when they get to the island, the chant they do is we're going to the goo. We're going to the goo. And then we're gonna see some animals eventually. Um, but that, that, that was funny. Um but yeah, yeah, we get the cap good so dark, but I kind of love it just for the cog, it's so dark, and, and it's pretty funny, dark humor, honestly, yeah. Again, I probably know dark humor for time, but only when it's done badly, and I like this kind of dark humor where it got brushed and don't linger, it's funny. I uh, guess it's happening, and like, Gong is not too, even if it's like Ruth Leader, but if I've done the same painting, I this could work in like Gong Park or whatever. And it yeah, has, but the, the can run gag, <laughs> but at one point we did, now I just kind of do it when I feel like it. Um. I guess one complaint about the episode would be that the ending is extremely abrupt. And by that, I mean it feels like it stopped right, it starts getting really good. Like, for a bit, like, I mean, it can, I, I guess the episode is more about getting to the island, and now he gets there. And it kind of complains a little about going deeper. It seems like they're leaving it open to revolve later on, rather than it gets on its own. Which is kind of a problem to extend it, because it... It still got that much of a story, really. A story, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, think about Erica get done in an act enough way. And he was kind of a nice moment at a point. Uh, they kind of hammered him, but they're going to like moment. The Cohen Cavendish had my favorite character again. They've been forking on on like enough. But the Cohen could kind of push him further because we knew to do Cavendish and but now it's still pretty funny, like, we're already gonna go, yeah, we are lost to Dakota. I, <laughs> um, we, we saw the app last night, and my friend watched it, and they're like, <laughs> and I'm like, man, what could be in the episode, and, like, he can, and she, Garia, 
and um, <laughs> um that um, um that it the reason that they're gonna have to crack blue her way. I'm like, and I've seen it, and I feel I'm longer than you will because I'm just talking about how cranky the cup is. So yeah, the guy in Lots of pretty good. I liked it more than the other one because it'll go out of nowhere. I didn't hear it coming. I, I didn't. So yeah, um, quite. But yeah, in general, it got pretty good at Mooka because we finishing present, kind of done a funny out of humor. But it does feel like it's there to get up each story again, much more go it is to tell. Oh no, but it totally comes perfectly fine and well. So, yeah, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that's, it's hard to damn. Okay, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow for the new finale for the Among Us Among Us. I shall see you then.